Hey guys, Luna here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be working on our passive mob farm, finally. Originally I was going to work on this with a little Wi-Fi, but he was offline and paper was also offline. Oh, hi there, man. And so instead we have Little Vaquero here to help us. So, uh, hi. Little Vaquero here is a fellow member on the Quittercraft server. And he spends a lot of time on the server, but we haven't really worked on anything together yet. Anyways, um, we're going to start off by going to Nether and actually showing you guys where the farm is. Back there, that's our spider farm. And even farther, that's where we're going to be going. And it's nighttime right now, so once we get there, I'm going to immediately jump in bed. Bed, 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 bed. Morning time. Okay, I don't like... Die. Die. Alright. I think we're good. Yeah, first of all, before I get anything else done... Oh, uh, where? Okay, here are my records, yeah. I'm gonna fly up and show you guys what I've done. So originally this place over here, this entire island was a forest island, and I spent a lot of time yesterday actually clearing it all. So now it's completely flat, and now the only thing we really have to do before we can start the farm is to add a bunch of water on top. So for today, all we're gonna be doing is... It needed to be done. <laughs> um, today all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going around and making all of these islands water so that nothing else can spawn. So this is pretty much the wood that we got from cutting this down. So we're gonna make a crafting table, because I always tend to forget to bring one. And then, we're gonna make a craft on a bucket. Right, let's make about 16 for each of us. There we go, alright. Um, I'll toss you some buckets here. And then as of now, I'm going to have to move you guys, so I'm going to leave you like this and you can walk around on your own. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I guess just start going around and filling these up. Alright, so it's that time again for us to work on the update crossout. So, uh, last time we finished 1.14 for a pillager farm and we finished 1.6 today for a passive mob farm. So, I have the random picker wheel in front of us and I have the document with everything we're going to be working on. And I'm going to click the random wheel, and we're going to decide what we're going to be working on later. 1.9. Which is, looks like it's going to be a witch farm. Right. So that's actually going to be kind of fun. I can make a pretty short video on that. And one thing I did notice before is the fact that, um, for my videos, I haven't been as much recording as I have been just doing time lapses. So I'm going to start doing, uh, more videos where I actually talk more in the video. But yeah, with that done... Back to the video.
So I'm back online, and I got kicked off last night at 10.30 because my Wi-Fi goes off pretty early. And it looks like... Okay. So we pretty much finished last time. Now all we have to do really is come down here, finish up the collection system where everyone dies, and maybe fill in a few holes on the side, like this. But it seems like this farm's actually coming close to complete. So... <clears throat> Most likely this was only, uh, this will only be a one video thing, though, not gonna lie, can't, okay, okay, so that's working, I guess I'll give it some time to start working a bit better. For now then, the problem I'm coming up with is the fact that <clears throat> it doesn't seem like that many animals are spawning. Now, this could be because of the fact that there are so many animals here in the ocean, but... <clears throat> kind of doubt that would you look at that it was definitely because of the animals in the ocean so we're just gonna have to build an afk spot really high up all right so i'm back from afk for a while and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head down and actually check to see how much stuff we actually got now i actually went down and picked up some stuff beforehand but i've actually left it for a little bit as well so i think i'll, I'll probably be changing this afk uh, platform later anyway so i'll get rid of some of this stuff but if we actually head down we can actually check out some stuff in the hopper, so I haven't actually put in any chests yet. Alright, so currently I'm on the bottom, and here's the hopper right here. So, that's the very back hopper. None in the middle, and none over there. But, if you go into here, you can see there's a bunch of stuff in there, bunch of stuff in there, bunch of stuff in there, and then also some stuff in the second layer. So this is actually going pretty well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up by adding a collection chamber at the bottom, and after that, we should be good. So now, I think we're pretty much done. So I might AFK this a little bit longer later. But yeah, um, this took me several days to actually work on, by which I mean two, and one of them was at nighttime. So thank you, Little Vaquero. Again, if he does start getting into streaming, I'm going to put that down in the description. But with that, I guess it'll be time to move on to our next farm. Now, that should be planned out in one of my super fast time lapse chats. So, you guys should know what it is right now, but since I haven't done that yet, I haven't edited yet, that's gonna be a mystery to me. So, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna leave the design in the description, and at some point later, I might end up adding a few more floors, and I'll figure out how to actually do this part up here with my AFK area. But again, this was me, Lunarai. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!